Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another episode, episode of Uta Macross Gacha videos. And this time around, we are in the second event of the month, um, which basically is just a Kuji event where you just play the songs at a relaxing pace. Because, yes, the wonderful thing about this event is that they allow you to spend up to three times the amount of energy in one single play. So you don't really have to spend too much you know, mental strain on playing this game you can just play at your own pace of course if you have skip tickets you can go ahead and use that but i don't have to tell you all this uh unless you are new <laughs> because if you guys are new you should definitely go check out my playlist on Uta macross tutorials learn about all the events in uh you know the, every month uh now we've got basically five different kind of events um in Uta macross one the last event of the month usually rotates with another so that's always fantastic um, just pace yourself don't get too mentally drained or you know too bored of the game because it is kind of Boy, bit of a repetitive game well I've most mobile myself. games are so just enjoy my cross franchise in its song formula you know in the best way that you can all right so let's take a look at kaname's brand new gacha that's what we are here for uh of course uh, we will have to see whether the episode play itself is any use or maybe you should just save up for it for another time especially if you guys are Kaname fans uh, if you can't get it now maybe you can wait for her birthday to try and attain it so all right let's take a look at the stats and look at the illustration that's just so pretty but if you guys have seen the intro or rather the commercial for Kaname's Akashia Day's costume you will have seen the wonderful illustration with her skirt slightly up but the problem with the illustration was it seems like the illustration was hidden to a somewhat certain extent. <laughs> we don't know how high Kaname's skirt flew. Uh, I don't know whether it will ever be revealed, but I can speculate that all the Japanese fans will definitely try and extend that illustration through their own art style. <laughs> but you know, that's just how the fandoms are, even though they are mostly females who are fans of Kaname. <laughs> But, you know, uh, we all have that kind of mindset some way or other. But okay, let's let's talk about the episode play and enough enough of this uh, delusional thinking of fandoms. <laughs> Alright, 3,903 total uh, score on episode play is pretty high. In fact, I think um, 3,900 is within the highest range for a 6-star episode play right there. Um, Pretty good stats on Soul and Charm, of course focusing more on Charm, considering that it is a hot element for a Pink series song, episode plate. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely needed stats for the current event song, uh, Koi Halation The War. Uh, if you guys have not played the event yet, shame on you, what are you doing? It's been past an hour <laughs> since the event has started. You should be playing the event by now. Uh, okay, so center skill, so the love element or the pink series songs units total will be boosted by 35% up which is fantastic for the current event but does that mean that this episode plate is useful as a center position episode plate let's take a look at the active skill to find out um, active skill yeah so five seconds you get that 70% boost in score so considering how powerful the modern um, six star episode plates are come becoming um, yeah, the active skill has definitely lowered its percentage rate in trying to give you that very good high score. So in the past, the best high score we've ever gotten was well, basically 100% boost, and of course for a 10 second ratio. Um, but you know, the episode plates back then had much lower stats uh, compared to the episode plates that we have currently going on. Life skill! So we have the score and damage improvement! There we go! So if you guys are trying to gain high scores which is not really required for this event um, you know this life skill isn't exactly useful for this event but overall all the skills on Kaname's episode plate are in good placing so you've got that high score achievement active skill you've got a high score achievement uh, center skill and of course you've got a high score achieving life skill well, it's not exactly the skill that is used to attain high score, but it helps improve the other plates that, you know, attain high scores. So overall, Kaname's 
uh, skill sets on this episode plate is fantastic, including that stat. So uh, to make this a perfect six star episode plate, we just need to see whether it comes with a special note attached to it. But before we do so, pay attention to the other three divas who can use this episode plate. Fantastic that Min Mei is getting more love. Like I said, Min Mei has been, you know, getting a bit of love here and there from every of the other featured divas, which is fantastic, you know, because the original diva herself is not forgotten. So yes, love is always remembered. Let's move on to the last page, which defines this episode play as in general. And sadly to say, no, it does not come with a special note attached to it. So it's it's still a pretty good, a very decent, or rather noise. I wouldn't call it decent, it's a pretty, pretty good episode play. Um, so if you guys want to attain this episode plate for high score achievement, definitely try and attain it. If you guys are Kanami fans, no doubt about it, you need to get this episode plate. It has a very lovely illustration of your wonderful waifu. And I myself am kind of infatuated with this illustration. <laughs> I've never seen so I never seen Kanami look so sweet and enduring before, you know, considering that um, she has been uh, illustrated as very sexualized character, even though she's she's basically the only chan or the mama of the group. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Kanami has always been a, a enduring character to me. Um, I've never seen to see her as more of like a sexualized character. That that's basically Mikumo, <laughs> even though Mikumo is like um, three years old in the TV series and technically since two, Macross Delta was released in 2016 and it's 2021 she's basically eight years old now if you're counting in real time value or rather unborn yet because we are not in the time era that Macross Delta is shown <laughs> but uh, you know that's that's just just numbers you know that's just numbers Mikumo is a clone so she doesn't exactly have a three years old body <laughs> So okay, uh, with all that said, we are going to do the usual ritual uh, considering that you know how Dana has programmed Uta Macross to be nowadays. We're gonna try and flush out the black, bad luck to get the good luck in um, considering how good the last video was. If you have not checked out the last video, I really recommend you to go and check it out. That's all, that's all my luck went to. <laughs> my the luck for the month of March is gone, so I am kind of expecting a very long dry spell after this. So yeah, please go check out the last video on Cheryl's uh, featured 7 star gacha, although technically that video is kind of, uh, uh, I would say, <laughs> a celebration for the Macross Frontier ladies, both of them. Uh, so yeah, go check out the last video. And come back to this one if you have not checked that one out yet. So like I said, we're gonna flush out the bad luck and uh, you know get the good luck rolling. So let's do the single free pool to see how the luck ratio is for this uh, time of day. Here we go. So we do get a decent quick load there. So that doesn't seem to be a very good sign. Um, although there was loading. Okay, we do get three Valkyries. So that's pretty decent. Okay. Do we get a red box? So no red box. That's fine. Is it a rare plate? Okay, it seems to be a decently rare plate considering that I've only gotten three spare copies of it. So that's kind of an indication that it might end up good. Might. I emphasize on the might. <laughs> Alright, so let's start things off. Um, I guess I'm gonna flush out more luck with uh, I do have quite a bit of uh, guaranteed 5 star tickets, so if today's video ends up dry, at least we have something. Then I've got a lot of uh, Choji Q gacha tickets as well, Super Dimension tickets or Super Space Time that, you know, depends on how you want to translate it. Apparently, uh, Kawamori prefers the English translation of Super Dimension, although Super Space Time is basic basically what the Japanese kanji is saying. Um, so, I don't understand how is it is super dimension so yeah okay anyways let's let's try and flush out the bad luck again uh with a 10 plate pool on the choji kill gacha here we go Ooh, ooh, decent load speeds uh oh uh oh am i using up my good luck here <laughs> well technically it's okay because well this gacha is able to pull out seven star episode plates so that's kind of a decent thing if it ends up getting good luck here 
So we do get one Valkyrie and no red boxes on the first bling. So yeah, it seems like the bad luck is starting to roll, like I predicted. So let's go ahead and skip through all these common episode plates. Go. Where is my single red box? Well, that red box might evolve, but still. Okay, there was no lag in it. So the thing about uh, the thing about the lag in animation in the past, if it lags when a particular rarity box is to appear, let's say for example a red one uh, or even a normal silver box, uh, there's a high tendency that it will evolve. But recently, I think Dana reprogrammed the game that you know when there is uh, evolution in the particular episode plate, the 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 video doesn't lag anymore. So. As, com as you can tell in the last video that I did. So yeah, so let's continue flushing out. We still have the daily free pool at the time of um, 12 noon in Japan. So let's, let's just make use of it. Let's let's just use every single free gacha we have to flush out the bad luck. Um, so yeah. Okay, so no fancy food animation. I'm just going to skip the animation here. So it's an episode plate that I've got plenty of. So as you can tell, the, the bad luck is still retaining. Okay, so with that, we're gonna dive into the actual thing now. We're gonna toss in our singing stones and uh, try and try and try to attain Kanami's brand new episode play. I definitely would like to have this. I I actually like Kanami in this school uniform. Um, so the thing about Kanami's school uniform's um, costume name is Akashia Days. So I don't know if it's a tribute to uh, any schools that the Macross franchise have ever featured before because the Delta series has never been to a school. Frontier, the, 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 well at least Ramka has been to a school. Um, in Macross 7, none of, the, none of the characters went to school. <laughs> and well, Min Mei, Min Mei, well, Min Mei didn't go to school technically, but you know. So only Frontier featured a diva that was still schooling, which is Ramka. So, so I speculate that Kanami's costume name is kind of like a tribute to Arcadia, you know, the, the plastic model company, or not, not, not plastic model, but model model company uh, that does Macross uh, figures for the Valkyries and all that, but you know, their, their merchandise is always overpriced and only the, the well-to-do people are able to afford it. So enough about that, that's just my speculation. Let me down, know in the comments down below, what do you think about Kanami's costume name, Akasha Days? Um, is it really a tribute to Arcadia, considering that they released a whole lineup of merchandise they're going to release for Macross recently? <laughs> Maybe it's just a way to say thank you <laughs> from Big West. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the template pool that we're going to experience. Oh boy. I mean, it'd be nice to have Kanami's new costume, uh, considering that we can't actually unlock it through event episode plate. Uh, since the event is a repeat event, so yeah, our Kanami fans has to really dish out the money to try and attain their waifu's costume. So horrible, Val ooh, horrible Valkyrie animation, but we do get a golden orb. Okay, rainbow box on the first bling. So it seems like flushing out the bad luck has really proven its worth. Oh, okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. We do get a 5-star episode plate and it is not Kaname, but we get the illustrious Mikumo in a gorgeous costume. Uh, I guess, I guess mentioning that Mikumo was the lusty one <laughs> ends up, you know, having its toe on my gacha pool, but that's fine, that's fine. You know, extra costume points always lead to episode ops, which is always a good thing. If you are trying to unlock costumes like Kaname's, uh, I can definitely use my episode ops to unlock Kaname's costume right now. I have a buttload of them stored up, so I've been waiting for situations like this uh, in case that I really want to get certain costume in my collection. Yeah, so hopefully you guys have been storing up your episode ops as well uh, to unlock your favorite characters' costumes. So yeah, we've got a bit of decent Kaname and Mikumo love. Although it is Kanakana's gacha. <laughs> but I'm very... Oh! I get to unlock Mikumo's costume as well. Okay, this is a win in my book. So yeah, definitely kind of a bummer that, you know, Mikumo's... Uh, I mean, Kaname's costume is definitely not naturally unlocked via episode plate costume points. 
Um, but that's fine, considering that I have this here, it gives me a chance to use episode ops to unlock Kanami's costume. That's all good in my books. So anyway guys, I'm gonna save up my singing stones for the next few gachas. We still have Makinas, which I really really want to unlock as well. I'm waiting for Reina's school uniform costume to come along so I can have the Maki Ray pairing do their wonderful uh, school uniform unit performance one day. Uh, it'll be nice to have all the Wakure girls in their school uniforms as well. I wonder what Mikumo will look like. I don't think she will look anything sweet like Hanami's, but you know. <laughs> hey guys, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Utah Macross Gacha videos. Hopefully you guys have a uh, better chance, better luck than I did. I mean, I'm very grateful that I even got uh, Mikumo's uh, episode played there, which I have not gotten uh, and managed to unlock her costume finally for myself. And of course, I did get an episode played with Kaname's costume points, although uh, it's not the main featured costume itself, or rather the episode played itself. So yeah, uh, thank you guys once again, and I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. Yeah, bye!